this evening after a major fire broke out at a warehouse in Cannock. Fire and people nearby have been told to keep windows and doors closed. Well, earlier today, the plumes of smoke could be seen from up to 20 miles away and fire crews say they expect to be on the scene for at least a couple of days. Let's cross live to join Wesley Smith, who's there now. Uh, Wes, this started around 12 hours ago. We could still see smoke behind you. So what's the situation now? Yeah, it's still going strong, Pablo. We've actually stepped back from where we were before because we were downwind of the toxic smoke, and that's something you don't want to be breathing in. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, it comes in fits and starts, we find. It's a bit wispy, maybe difficult to see for our cameras against the bright sky here, but then you get a sudden big plume of smoke, and you can see that part of the building, the roof there, has collapsed into itself. You can see it from 15 miles away. That was my view coming up the M6 toll. So quite a dramatic day. We've been speaking to eyewitnesses, to the fire service, and to one business who helped support them. It was one of those dramatic scenes it seemed everybody wanted to capture on camera. Smoke billowing into the skies over Cannock and well beyond. There were rumours of an explosion, and some pictures appear to bear this out. The shout went out around 6am as it became clear this was a serious incident. Looked out the window and could just see the smoke billowing out. Um, we live about two miles from here, and you could just see it like, literally billowing across Cannock towards Burnwood. Remarkable what they do really to deal with this, so yeah, just wish everybody to be safe. When I came down here, all the damage beyond me, I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's a bit more than I thought. And then I thought about the people inside who got impacted as well, as it would have happened. Ten fire crews were drafted in, including Shropshire and the West Midlands, as well as local firefighters from Staffordshire. Roads around the Orbital Islands retail parks were closed as fire crews worked out how best to tackle the flames. It's very dangerous in terms of the, the situation close to it, uh, and our firefighters have had to be very careful with their actions. They've taken defensive measures to make sure that the fire is contained. It won't spread any further. Now, unfortunately, it does mean that a fire of this size will produce a smoke plume. Now, lucky for us, the weather is quite positive in terms of it's warm. There is little wind, so the smoke plume is actually going up into the atmosphere and dissipating. So that minimises the impact on our firefighters and the other local responders, but importantly, on the local residents and communities as well. Local businesses were hit hard, with staff moved out and others unable to get into work. Cleaners alerted the manager of a company next door to the plant on fire. He opened up its facilities to the fire and rescue service, providing a tactical base and welcomed teas and coffees. It was an honour to do that sort of thing. As soon as we realised how many people were here and there were felt like hundreds of people here, Obviously, they're going to need a drink and they're going to need to use the facilities. So we've had some of our people that were already on site here helping them out with that all day. Obviously, we haven't been able to trade at all today. and can't get staff on site either to deal with our customers sort of thing. So it's had a severe impact so far. The smoke continued to billow hour after hour. The fire service are working with the Met Office and say they'll modify their approach if the wind changes. No word yet from the building's owners, but it's clear the damage is extensive. Wes, we know it is early days, but any idea yet about or as to what caused this? It's too early to know, Sam, to be honest. That's what the fire services say. A bit more about the building. It's uh, Super Smart Services. It's a distribution warehouse. Presumably there are items in there waiting to be uh, delivered. Uh, that obviously is going to put uh, some difficulty in place for them. The fire service tell me they are in here for the long haul, at least for the next couple of days. Okay, for now, Wes, thank you very much. The Ministry of Justice.